without working. And since neither property nor capital produces anything, when not fertilized by labor, that means the power and the right to exploit the work of those who possess neither property nor capital, and thus are forced to sell their productive power to the lucky owners of both. Note that I have left out of account altogether the following question. In what way did property and capital ever fall into the hands of their present owners? This is a question which, when envisaged from the points of view of history, logic, and justice, cannot be answered in any other way, but one which would serve as an indictment against the present owners.